hello friends and welcome back to Apron Strings. You know, I've been doing peach stuff. I did peach pie filling and it's wonderful. And I did peach preserves. Well, today I'm going to make a peach salsa. I've seen this on several websites and blogs and I had seen it several times in my Canon book. Let me get the book and show you. It's this book, and if you can see all of the paper clips and things, I've got a lot marked in here. Some I've already made, others I'm going to make. I don't like stuff so hot that the heat ruins the flavor for me. So it costs for two seeded jalapenos and one whole habanera. So instead of the habanera, I seeded a hatch pepper. It's hatch pepper season around here and uh, they're readily available right now. They bring them in from New Mexico. So I'm going to put a hatch pepper in mine. So anyhow, this is just the, the peach salsa that's in the ball canning book. And I'm going to bring the camera over and let y'all see all the ingredients. And then, Okay, here's the ingredients. I've got my purple onion and my garlic, my peppers, uh, my jalapenos and my hatch, the salt, all of the liquids together, the red bells, the sugar, the cilantro that'll go in last, and then these delicious peaches. And you want your peaches hard and unripe. So I went and picked the firmest ones I could find, and I'm getting it done quickly before they start getting any riper. peppers, the purple onion and garlic, I'm going to have beautiful color to it, the red bell peppers, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and this is a cup of, I believe it's a cup, well it's apple cider vinegar, water, and lime juice. And I'll tell you the, the proportions in a minute. A cup of apple cider vinegar, a half of a cup of water, and a fourth of a cup of lime juice. And then here's my sugar, one cup of sugar. And I just need to stir this until the sugar melts. And uh, then it starts to come up to a boil, and then I'm going to simmer it for five minutes. Isn't that going to be pretty? I can just taste this on a fish taco. Years ago, a couple of friends of mine and I went to Pennsylvania on a vacation, and uh, there's a place up there that makes all kinds of salsas, and I brought home peach salsa and mango salsa, and let me tell you, this stuff is heavenly. But it, you know, I couldn't afford a whole bunch of it, so it's all gone. So now I'm making my own. I was so excited when I saw that recipe in the canning book, and I marked it. And then when I was just surfing around on YouTube, watching different things, I came across a girl that had made it. And somebody said, well, what do you put it on? And she said, well, what it works best on is a chip. I didn't get, yeah. Just put it on a chip and eat it. So I'm going to try it on several different things, but I'm going to let it come up to a boil and I'll bring y'all back while it's doing its five minute simmer. Sure do thank y'all for watching and being faithful to my channel and commenting. When I say my morning prayers, I ask the good Lord to bless the ones that's blessing me by watching. And I believe He answers. It's starting to boil around the edges. So I'm just about ready to set my timer for five minutes and cut the fire down a little bit and let it uh, simmer. I guess that's to get the onions soft and to the peppers and to let all the flavors kind of blend. It's a little spicy. I tasted of the juice. I, I couldn't have eaten it with a habanero, but like this, it's very good. I've got it simmering. It has about a minute and 53 seconds left. So I want to show y'all uh, my setup over here where I'm going to be putting it in the jars. I always put me down a dish towel because I always make a mess. I've got my magnet to pick my lids up with and my jar lifter and then my funnel that I put it in, um, in the jars with. There's the cilantro that has to go in last. 
and that's my white vinegar and the paper towel to wipe the rims of my jars. And I have my lids heating right here. My water bath is boiling. And I want y'all to know too that I did boil my ladle and my funnel and the things that I'm going to be using have been sterilized. That's very important. Sometimes we may think things look clean, but they may not be as clean as we think they are. So, won't be but a minute now. 50 seconds, I'll be pulling it over here and starting to jar up. I've got my jars. I just turned my oven on 200, and I put them in there just to keep them warm. That way I won't have thermal shock when I put them into the hot water bath or put the hot salsa in them. So, I'll be back in a minute, busy filling jars. I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing. Add my cilantro. And you may think, I don't like cilantro, but a lot of times just that little dab adds a flavor that it tastes bland and unfinished if you don't add it. So don't don't omit anything that's in the recipe. Okay, I'm ready to get some jars out of the oven and get started filling them. And I'll fill them like this. And we want a half, uh, I think it's a fourth of an inch, a half to a fourth of an inch head space. That one's a little too full. I'll have to dip a little bit out. I am going to have more than seven pints. So I will be back in a minute. Had a little bit left, so we'll have some to eat for the next day or two. Got my jars in the hot water bath, and it comes back up to a full bowl. I'll water bath them for 10 minutes. Then I'll come back and show y'all the beautiful jars of peach salsa. Okay, the 10 minutes of water bath time is up, but I took the lid off, and I'm just going to let them rest for five minutes undisturbed, and then I'm going to put them over there on my mat uh, and just leave them until they cool. My little timer's going off. It's been five minutes. So I'm going to start getting them out and taking them over and putting them on the little mat that I drain them on or cool them on. See how pretty it is? I hope it's focused. I love the colors. It's got your red bell peppers, the little flakes of green cilantro, the purple onion. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, here's my beautiful pine, uh, peach salsa, and it is so good. Y'all, this peach salsa is really easy to make. It takes a little bit of time prepping everything that goes in it, but then once you get that done, you bring it to a boil, simmer it five minutes, and jar it up. And it's delicious. It would be good on cream cheese for a holiday spread. It'll be good on chips or crackers or pork or just about anything you want to put it on. It has a unique flavor, and it's yummy. Hope y'all will try it. I like new stuff. I've had this, like I told you, when we went to Pennsylvania, we brought back several different kinds of salsa, mango, and peach, and I don't know what all. There's, it was delicious, but it's gone. And I can't just run to Pennsylvania to get me a jar, but now I learned how to make it. I love that. So I hope y'all try the recipe, and if you do, let me know and what you think about it. And if you make any little addition, little changes to it, well, let me know. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. Come back here in a few days and I'll be cooking something else. And I promise you it'll be good. I appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that button and subscribe. 
and uh, hit the little bell where you'll be notified when I put a new video up. And please share my channel and my recipes with your friends on social media or wherever. Just you can reach an audience that I can't reach without your help. I appreciate your help. The good Lord bless y'all, and I'll see you in a day or so.